What is your ethnicity? Um, part Thai and Italian. Have you been to Thailand before or is this the first time? This is my first time. Uh, <laughs> yay! Dagwood Streets here recently my granddaughters visited their one-fourth Thai because my wife their grandmother is fully Thai that makes them 25% Thai or Luke Sio I think it is something like that I'm probably saying it wrong in Thai Luke Krung would be 50% and I think it's Luke Sio or something like that which means 25% Thai this video just cover some of the places we went, some of the stuff that they saw. And I think it was very eye-opening for them. And before they left, they said they definitely want to come back. They loved it. It was a great experience. I'll let you hear it in their words. As we cruise through Rayong, Bangkok, and Isan. Next time, maybe we'll go to the mountains, Chiang Mai, or the south, Naratiwat, Patani. I don't know. But for now, enjoy the video. Aloha. Salatu. I definitely did think it was mostly going to be like jungles for some reason. Because when Yai described like how she grew up, it was mostly like jungles. So I definitely did think that Bangkok wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. After checking in at the dentist, the girls were feeling a bit peckish so decided to go across the street and get ba mi, which is a yellow wheat flour noodle. When you order ba mi, you'll have the option to get ba mi hang, which is dry, or ba mi nam, which is in a soup. Fortunately for us, the best bought me shop that we know of is right across the street from the dentist in the La Salle area of Bangna. <music> After bought me and crossing the street again to the dentist to get the work done, it was time to go to Okaju one of the best healthiest restaurant chains in Bangkok. There are many franchises across Bangkok in a few of the different malls. This one again happens to be in the La Salle area of Bangkok. Part of the girls' orientation to Bangkok and Thailand was riding the MRT and the BTS in the Central Business District.
While in Bangkok, KK and Missy visited four or five different malls and outside of Bangkok, a few malls as well. If you visit Thailand between July and October, you can expect to get wet once in a while. On this day, it wasn't exactly a frog strangler, but there was a bit of a downpour. And with the rain, traffic can become even crazier than it normally is. I watched all of my grandfather's YouTube videos and I watched other YouTube videos. Rayong is the wealthiest province in Thailand and it lies just to the east of Chonburi where Pattaya is located. In the sleepy beach town of Banchang, about a half an hour drive east of Pattaya, is a famous restaurant called Crab House. It's situated directly across the street from Triple O, which is an excellent and reasonable priced hotel to stay. Probably under a thousand baht. And you have a river on one side and an ocean on the other. I highly recommend Triple O is a great place to stay. Depending what country you're coming from, I would say Crab House, though more expensive than a lot of other restaurants, is still fairly reasonable and you can almost dip your toe in the ocean as you're eating. This is Nam Jim Tele. It's mostly lemon, but it also has some fish sauce and chili pepper. It's perfect match for the crab. This dish is called Patpong Garibu, which is curried crab, my favorite. And then we have some oysters from Southern Thailand and various dips, which we call Nam Jim. Beaches seem to stretch on forever, so find a place you like and take your pick. Krua In Kao is a restaurant on the side of a mountain in Banchang that we highly recommend. of how it is I guess like there's some city there's some jungle I would say the most like soul difference would be the religion here. Oh. I think I learned a lot about Buddhism. <laughs> How do you like this artist, P. Sedert? Easy to remember in English, it sounds like piece of dirt, but it's P, which means older brother, Sedert. He's from Konkem, 
which is the next city we'll be visiting. While in Isan, the girls were able to visit the JD of their ancestors. This is the mall in Kongen. She's 50... Oh, are you... Chai. 59 years old. 59. Here we see the Friendship Bridge and Laos on the other side of the river. As you can see, there are tables and chairs lining the river. And as the sun goes down, you can get some food, perhaps a favorite beverage, water. Sit down and enjoy yourself. The weather is nice and cool. It's probably super hot in Bangkok. It's the beginning of September, August just ended, so rainy season is about to end. <laughs> and you can sit by the edge of the river, look at Laos, maybe look at the Friendship Bridge. It crosses from here on the Thai side to Phang Lao or the Laotian side.
Elephant World is in the Isan or Northeast province of Thailand called Surin. If you're a foreigner, it'll cost you 100 baht to get in. Others are cheaper, students and children, 20 baht. If you're over 60, it's free. You see a temple, I see people do a short little prayer. Dagwood Streets, my grandfather, <laughs> he told me that it really orients around giving more to others than receiving. So I kind Merit. of observed that mm -hmm. while I was traveling. The word in Thai is tambun. And in English, it's merit. Merit? Uh, you no. make merit. <laughs> yeah. Give more than you receive or give as much as you can. And uh, karma, what comes around goes around, all that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Tam di dai di. Tam di dai di. Yeah. <laughs> Do good things, good things happen. All my friends, when I told them I was going to Thailand, they were like, oh, you're going to a third world country, like, good luck. So when I got here, I came in with the mindset knowing that it's not like what they describe. It was definitely way better. They said I was gonna be peeing in a hole and stuff. <laughs> like that type of third world country. I knew I wasn't gonna be doing that. And the shower where it hits everything in the bathroom. I feel like that doesn't bother me. I think people may think that's like a downgrade, but I think it's easy cleaning. Part of me really likes city because it's like convenient for stores and stuff. Countryside I like because it's peaceful.
We're gonna leave you here with Go Chang, which I didn't go into much because there's an entire separate video you can watch that covers Go Chang. You can reach Go Chang or Elephant Island by car ferry video linked in the comments. How does that make you feel to leave Thailand? I'm sad. I, I kind of like it a little bit better than America, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Thailand's amazing, that's all I can say. <laughs>